بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد شهر رمضان has many many benefits and from amongst those benefits is it Ramadan is the month when the Quran was revealed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says في كتابه الكريم شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى والفرقان الله سبحانه وتعالى says in Surah Al-Baqarah He says that the month of Ramadan is the month in which the Quran was revealed and as a guidance for mankind and clarity from the guidance and a furqan as a, and as a criterion so the Quran is a criterion for us to, to judge truth and falsehood and to judge between them and make judgments over ourselves and our own actions and during the holy month of Ramadan is the time in the last part of Ramadan when Laylatul Qadr the, the night of power descends and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says inna anzalnahu fi Laylatul Qadr so the Laylatul Qadr is during the holy month of Ramadan and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says regarding the Quran during the holy month of Ramadan قال إنا أنزلناه في ليلة مباركة. Allah subhanahu wa taala says, verily we have uh, de- descended it during the blessed night, or the blessed night, meaning Laylatul Qadr. So this is the time when the Quran was revealed, and this was during the holy month of Ramadan. And from amongst the blessings and benefit of Ramadan as well is that the doors of paradise are open and the doors of the hellfire are closed and the shayateen are chained. On Abi Hurairah radiallahu ta'ala anhu wa rasulullahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqal Ida ja Ramadan futiha abwaab al-jannah wa ghulikat abwaab al-nar wa sufidat الشياطين. Abu Hurairah رضي الله تعالى عنه related the hadith of the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم where the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم عليه said that if Ramadan comes then the doors of paradise are open the gates of paradise are open and the gates of the hellfire are closed and the shayateen, the devils, are chained. And that's a hadith of Bukhari and Muslim. And those are just some of the great blessings and benefits of Ramadan. Ramadan is also a forgiveness for us, for our sins and our mistakes. An Abi Hurairah radiallahu ta'ala anhu and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqal Salawat al-Khams wal Jumu'a ila Jumu'a wa Ramadan ila Ramadan mukaffarat ma baynuhunna idh ijtanibu kaba'ir Ruahu Muslim Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu narrated the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who said that the five daily prayers and Jumwa to Jumwa, meaning the Friday prayer to the Friday prayer, and Ramadan to Ramadan are all expiations for what transpired between those times. As long as a person stays away from the major sins. So those things are an expiation for the minor sins. That praying your five daily prayers the sins that occur between those salats, those prayers, as a mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they are, the minor sins are forgiven. As well as 
from Jumwa to Jumwa, the Friday prayer to the Friday prayer. Also, that's an expiation for the minor sins. And from Ramadan to the Ramadan is also an expiation for the minor sins. Because the Prophet wasallam said at the last part of the hadith, he said, Salawatu Rabbi wa salamu alayhi, he said, Makafarat ma baynuhunna idhichtani buwa kabair. He said, they, it is an expiation for what occurred between those times as long as a person avoided the major sins. So that is something we should always be striving to do anyway, stay away from the major sins and gain that kafara, that, that uh, expiation for the sins that we do constantly. An Abi Hurairata radiallahu ta'ala anhu an Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqal man sama Ramadan imanan wa ihtisaban gufira luhu ma taqaddama min dhambi Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu narrated that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said whoever fasts the month of Ramadan with iman you know believing in, in what he's doing with certainty and fully accounting for his deeds and, and striving to perfect his fast and do good deeds then Allah will forgive him for what he did from uh, the sins that he did before so again Ramadan is a way of gaining expiation for the sins that we commit all the time as long as they were the minor sins and the major major sins require from us a toba that we repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as long as as well as uh, fast in the month of Ramadan and the other things and we ask Allah the Almighty to forgive us of our sins وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم